Perfect. That's amazing. Introduction. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you could see us. Hello. hello. So this is from the African and African Descendants Friendship Club of St. Albert. We are teaching people how to make cocky beans from Cameroon. We hope you will connect and um, go along with us and learn how to make this uh, very uh, yummy uh, food. Enjoy, and today with us from our community is Rose, and Rose will be the one to take us through. So pull along, if you have questions, just type it in and um, enjoy, thank you. Go ahead, Rose. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining. Um, my name is Rose. I'm just taking us through um, um, a very interesting menu from Cameroon. It's called Cocky Beans. Um, first, I want to start by introducing the items that we're going to be using today. Um, so I have on my table, we just turn the camera down so everybody can see. So we normally use um, um, black black eye beans. You can find it from any store, um, superstore, Walmart, any store, any grocery store. They sell it. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see it. It's black eye beans. This is what we normally use. So we we put it in water, just tip it for like um, at least twenty to thirty minutes, so it really gets soft, and then we wash it. Now, after washing, it's gonna look like this. So if you wash it, it's all clean. This is a dry one that is clean. It's been cleaned up. So if you wash it properly, it's going to look like this. So if you soak this in water, it's going to look all fresh again. So this is just because it's dry and this is a wash base. So, but for today, we're not going to use this because it's going to be one something where everybody's comfortable. So we'll, have, we'll be using the lentils. So lentils beans also you can find from any grocery store. Um, I think we all know lentils, so you can find it from any grocery store. This is what we're going to be using, and I have mine um, that is in a bowl. I have a little quantity here. It's just like a three quarter of this bowl. So um, please, first, I wanted to go ahead and put yours in a bowl and put it in water. So we need it to be in water. This doesn't it take long. So this doesn't need to go for 20 minutes like the black eye beans because the black eye beans is stronger. This is really like um, a nice rich beans. So it's soft and it's easy to go. So just in water for two, three minutes, you'll be fine. So you can go ahead and put yours in water in a bowl. And I want you to have, of, um, if I go by a cup, this should be about four and a half. Yeah, we have two so if I'm going by uh, um, a measuring cup, this should be, um, size for four and a half cups of beans so put it in water please okay um so that's what we're going to be using today lentils and okay okay so we have um uh one um one and a half cup of lentils and two cups of water so as long as so the water is been in it's been in water for over five minutes already so that's why it's looking like this. Um, so next item that you need to have is your spinach. 
So I just need a little portion of uh, spinach. You can just have the baby spinach. Um, just a little bit of portion like this. So I have it ready here. Um, next, I have some pepper. I have a little bit of habanero and a little bit of red pepper. So it's up to you, whatever you wanna use. You can use just the habanero or you can use both. So we just need a little portion to make it spicy. But if you don't eat spicy, that is fine. You can avoid this <laughs> and don't put it. So if you don't need, if you don't want anything spicy, that's okay. But um, for us Africans, we mostly use, um, we mostly use um, um, habanero. So we like spicy stuff. So we always use this. So we're gonna be using a little bit of this. And on the other end, the next item I have here is um, palm oil. So this is a little bit of palm oil, as you can see. So another thing is not everybody eats palm oil. So if you don't eat palm oil, I just want you to grab a little bit of vegetable oil. So if you can see it, just grab a little bit of vegetable oil if you don't eat palm oil, that's fine. You can grab a little bit of vegetable oil and we can use it. And a little, a pinch of salt, at least, um, just a little bit on the corner. I'll just show us the portion. We're gonna be using a teaspoon to get the salt. So just a little pinch of salt. And I have some cubes. So whatever cubes you're comfortable with, this is no cubes. They can also be found in all grocery stores. And this is crevet. So this one is not popular, but um, if you don't wanna go with this, this alone is fine. So we just have these. And I have a chopping board and a knife and I have parchment paper. So this is what we're gonna use to wrap the beans when, we, when we're all done and ready to put, like ready to get it going. So we're gonna need a little bit of foil paper and a little bit of parchment paper. So we're gonna be putting it together. So I'm gonna show us how to wrap it so we don't have water in the beans when we wrap and when we wanna cook, okay? So basically that is everything that we're gonna need for, for this meal today, so. I want us all to get ready, 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 ready. And I'm gonna start right away, please. So please type in the chat box if you're ready and I'm gonna start right away. Please confirm on the chat box when you're ready, please. Any questions? So if you're watching, you're very, very welcome. I hope you enjoy the, the time with us. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'll just start by washing my hands. I have the sink just beside me here. Okay, so um, I just, sorry, one thing I forgot is we need a bowl to mix, guys. So if you're cooking, we'll need a bowl and a little spoon. So we're gonna do the mixture. I need a bowl, please. So just any, any size of bowl you're comfortable with, that's fine. Just a bowl and a little spoon to mix and a blender on the side because we're gonna be blending the lentils. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the spinach. So we wanna wash that and put it on the side and have it going. So just wash it properly and nicely. Just warm water, look warm water, whatever works for you. So you just wash. So I don't have much. I only have just like a little bit. Okay. So you just wash and then pat it dry. You don't want too much, too much of water in it. So you want it because we're gonna chop it. So we want it a little bit dry. Okay, so just get a paper towel and just pat it dry. Okay. So there we're gonna start by chopping that spinach. So just in really, really, really tiny sizes, really, really tiny. Because with the with the meal we're doing today, we we're using the spinach as a vegetable and it has to be kind of invisible. 
So it doesn't have to be like um, pronouncing a lot. So I'm gonna be chopping it really, really nicely and in very small sizes, in fine sizes. So I'm gonna show you what my sizes look like when I'm done. So there's no order to this, just as fine as you can make it, that works perfect, perfect. So this is what it looks like. So this is the fine size for my spinach. So it looks like this. So we're just gonna put it back in the bowl. Okay. So I'm just gonna rinse my hands again. So, so if you're done with that, next up we're gonna do is we're gonna get the lentils. So that we wanna blend. So remember your lentils are supposed to be in water for at least um, two to three minutes. So you have it like a little bit wet. So this has been in water for like five minutes already, like I said earlier. So we wanna blend this. So I'm gonna start by rinsing it a little bit. It's been in water already, but just rinse it up. Okay, so if there's any, anything you want to do, just rinse it up, make sure it's nice and clean. Okay, and drain down the water. All right, so we have the lentils ready. And because the lentils is going to go together with the habanero, like I said, if you're not comfortable with the habanero, don't worry about it. Um, you can let it go. You can just do uh, just the lentils if you don't want the habanero, or you can use just like maybe bell pepper, a little bit of it, you know, just to give it that, you know, that color, that nice little reddish color, you know, that flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and wash it. I'm not gonna use everything, but I'm gonna wash everything um, just in case, okay? Okay, so there we go. I have it all washed nicely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the habanero and I'm gonna like clean it up. So first you just chop this little thing, cut in the middle. We just wanna make sure inside is okay and nice. Sometimes you have spoiled ones in the middle. So that's why I'm chopping it up. So this goes into your lentils. Okay, so they're gonna be blended together. So those, those two go together in the blender. So um, we just, I'm just gonna pause for a minute and see if anybody has any questions, please. Any questions, please let me know. No questions? No questions, okay. Sounds good to me, so we're on the same page, I believe. So I'm gonna go ahead to blend um, the lentils plus the habanero right now. Okay, so let's head to our blender. All right, so I have the blender already here. Okay, so I have it all set up, all clean and nice, nice and clean. So I'm just gonna put everything into the blender. Okay, so everything, please. Everything goes in and the bowl is gonna look like that. So just rinse it up and put, make sure everything goes in the blender. Okay. So, so we just wanna add a little bit of water because if we blend dry, it's gonna be like really thick and sticky, so just a little bit of water is okay. All right, there we go, perfect. So I have it all in my blender, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Right now, remember we added one habanero in this, so I have it all set up and ready to go, okay? So we're gonna blend. So you're blending to fine blend. 
So we don't want to have like um, maybe crumbs or anything. It has to be fine, right? A little bit because this is lentil. So like I said, we're supposed to use the black eye beans. With the black eye beans, you're going to have it. If you blend it, you're going to have a little bit of, you know, um, it looks like a little bit of crumbs in it, just a little bit. So sometimes we shed into two portions where one is fine blend and one is like um, um, with crumbs. So just to have a little bit of, you know, crunchiness when you eat. So, but this one is okay. So it's lentil, so it's easy to go. So we're gonna put that on, ready to go. Okay. And just blend. All right, I'm just going to check and see what it looks like. Perfect. So I think this is all clean. Oh, this is all good. Looks so nice. So, guys, it's going to look like that. All right. So I'm just going to talk to my put everything in my bowl. So I'm going to come back to the table. So, um, let me get rid of the board for a minute. Okay, so now I need this bowl. So the empty bowl and the spoon is what we need. Okay. So um, if you if you just want to rinse the board when you put it in the your board in your sink, just rinse up that and put it on the side. Okay. So just trying to clean back the station. So, and then now we're gonna rinse the bowl before we start with it. So we just rinse the bowl a little bit here. So I'm, if you notice, I'm trying to avoid my hands touching anything, you know, so we don't do have like cross contamination or anything like that. So um, we just pour the lentils, blend lentils into the bowl. So everything goes. So if you look at it, it's all nice and see, fine grind. No, it doesn't have any crumbs or anything. So it's really, really nice. This is so, so smooth. Okay. So everything goes in the bowl. So you can rinse up your, your blender a little bit, just a teeny bit of water because I have enough water already in this. So it's fine. Just a little bit. Okay. Perfect. So I have everything ready, but I'm gonna like rinse this off. I don't wanna keep it sitting. So just rinse this off and put it on the side. Perfect. All right, there we go. So next up, so we have everything ready guys so i have my lentils ready so this is my beans this is the cocky beans coming up already so i have everything ready in the bowl okay so next week what we're gonna do is we want to have it taste so now we're going to be putting in um some of those no cubes and some salt remember we already have habanero in this so we need no and salt so this is to taste to make sure we have a very, very nice taste. So it goes by how you feel comfortable with the taste. So some people eat less sauce, some people eat more, some people eat more cubes, some people don't. So however you want the taste to go or to feel like, so please put the quantity that you feel comfortable with. So when you, when you do it, we're gonna taste it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and connect this. Okay, so this is um, no cube. I mentioned that you can find it at any um, grocery store, superstore and Walmart, they, of course, um, they all have it. Okay, so I'm using, yeah, I'm using no cubes, it's much, much better. So it comes in cubes like this. So this is two, so it's got two. This is one, 
and one. So first we're gonna start with one. Okay, so we wanna grind this one, just one of it. Okay, we just smudge it. Make sure that you grind it out. So start with one. Don't put two at once because if you put two, you're not sure if um, it's gonna be too sweet or it's gonna be too much. Okay, so one, and then now we're gonna measure our salt. So I have these little teaspoons here. If you don't have it, that's fine. I just want to try to give us an estimation of what quantity of salt we can use. So I'm going to be using one eight teaspoon. So this is one eight. So it's a little bit. So I'll grab my salt. Okay. So I have a full scoop. Okay. So we just put at least two two spoons. So we have to taste it and see if we have to add anything. So two scoops, please. All right. So we grab a spoon. Remember, just rinse a little bit. OK, and then now we're going to mix it. So just make sure that everything blends nice and properly. And if you feel like it's all blended in there, you just want to give it a little taste to make sure that it tastes like more comfortably, like whatever you want. It's OK to taste. So for me, the salt is not enough. So we're going to add a little bit of salt and a, one more of the cube. OK. So I had this one pack, one, one pack comes with two cubes in it. So this, with this quantity of beans, we're going to be using two cubes. Okay, so again, we just smash it. This one is really hard. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm just going to rinse my hands. Okay, so next we're gonna go with the salt again. So we're gonna be adding more salt because that one is not enough. So we're gonna add more, maybe another two scoops just to make sure that is to taste. So that's one. Okay. So that's two. So this is like four scoops of salt. And remember, it's the one eighth of the spoon that I'm using. So it's just to taste. So that's that's two more, and I'm gonna add another, um, maybe one more. So that's five. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and mix it again. So make sure it's nice and nice and all blended in. All right, now we want to taste it again and make sure that we have a nice, a tasty uh, beans going here. So I'm just gonna, perfect. So this is really, really nice. So that really works. So two, two or one, uh, two cubes of no cubes and um, one eighth teaspoon of salt, five spoons, okay? So that's all good and ready. So next, next, thing we're going to need is our palm oil. So I mentioned that if you're not, you don't eat palm oil or you don't know about it, you're, it's okay to use some vegetable oil. All right. So this is palm oil. This is the quantity I got here. That's it. So most times you want to have it really nice and a little bit, um, a little bit on the fire. So this is already like dissolved. So sometimes palm oil look like they are coagulated together, but this is ready to go. So I'm not gonna have to put it on the, on the fireplace to dissolve anything because it's all good. So if you're using your vegetable oil, so you just wanna grab a portion of this quantity. I will say this is like um, a cup. So one cup of um, palm oil. 
So you just go ahead and put it in, okay? So we're putting in the palm oil right now. So you have this already tasty and very good and nice. So you have your seasoning rolling. So just add palm oil. So you wanna give it a nice um, coloring. So just wash and see how the whole thing is gonna blend. So if you put this, trust me, it looks really, really amazing. So you just keep going and until you're comfortable with the coloring. So this is to give it some nice color, really nice. So you're gonna have some really nice color. So this is just what it looks like. So I don't know if you guys can see it. So my lenses look like that. So I'm gonna put all of it, okay? Because I like more colorful. So that depends on you guys. So if you don't, if you're using the vegetable oil, it's perfectly fine. It's gonna work all the same. It's just that you might not have the, the color because this is palm oil is red and vegetable is like, you know, plain. So you might not have everything. So that's good. So you have your palm oil going. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna grab that spinach. Remember we chop our spinach really, really nicely and small fine chops. So when you're putting your spinach, you wanna sprinkle it and make sure that it's, it goes at every part of your beans. You don't wanna have it on one spot. So this is what you do. So basically you just do this. So just like that. We're not gonna use all of these because it's um, quite a lot. So when you put your spinach and you mix, it looks like that. So you have it like a little nice vegetable in the seasoning of the beans. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to have it look more colorful. Okay. So this goes as per your discretion. For me, this is okay. So you, if you like more of the vegetable, you can add more. If this is okay, if you have want less, you can go less. So it's just up to you. So this is what the beans looks like, guys. This is the beans all together. So this is everything about the beans that is mixed up already. So looks like that. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I like the colors so, so good. So it looks like that, guys. And um, before we wrap it, I just wanna know if everybody's on the same page with me. And if there's any questions, please send it to the chat box and we will reply you right away. Okay, so I'm just cleaning down the station here to make sure that I have um, I have enough room to to start tying up. So there we go. Everywhere is nice and clean. Perfect. All right. So. So if we are ready now, so I just grab the bowl, a little bowl, because I need something to put the foil paper and the parchment together. So this is really, really important, guys, because if you don't wrap properly, you're, you're gonna end up having your water skip into your, your beans, whereby it's gonna take away your coloring and your flavor from your beans. So if water gets into you, you don't have, um, you're not gonna have a nice taste anymore because it's gonna take away the seasoning and everything. So this is very important. I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap it. Okay, so first thing we need, so a bowl, this is all cleaned up. And the next thing we need is a parchment paper. Okay, so this you can find at any store, parchment and um, some foil paper. Okay, so you just, so this is, a, it goes by the size of the bowl guys. So first, first stop is with the parchment paper the size of this bowl, I want it, I don't want to make like big, big, um, big rows. I just want to make little bond, big bundles. I want to make little bundles. So I go by this size. So just measure it to your bowl and cut it out. 
So this is easy. You don't need a, um, a scissor or anything to cut up. It's pretty easy. Okay, so this is the quantity for me. Okay, just put it on the side right there. And next up is the four paper. All right. So again, with the size of the bowl and cut it up. So please, very important. We have two sided for four paper. We have the, the side where you can you can use for display. If you let me be covering your food and you have the side that goes in. So this side stays outside, all right? And this goes inside. So we, we have to toss it into the bowl. Okay, so most people don't know that we can do this. So this is really, really, really good. It's something that I've, I've tried and it really, really works. It's really, really nice. So when you have these in your bowl, next up you, you get your parchment paper and you put, place it on top of the four paper, okay? So if you tie your beans like this, for those of us that are Africans, it comes out perfectly. So we're gonna see the end result. So this is what it looks like, guys. So I have two in one, all right? So now you go ahead and you mix up. So every time you wanna grab, like scoop beans out, you have to make sure that you mix and roll it a little bit. So we're gonna be putting maybe two to three scoops of uh, beans in one um, bundle. So let's go. All right, so I got three spoons. So now get every edge of your parchment paper first. Okay, together. All right. And then next up, take the four paper, put on top of it. So make sure you're getting the, the edges of it. Okay, so don't leave any part hanging. Okay, so this one is done. So we're gonna have to do another Four paper, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. So the good thing about this is, so because of this error, I'm going to show you guys something. So with the parchment paper, the beans cannot come out. So it's all like pretty really sealed up and everything. So next, so let's just go back to the four paper here. So we put it in. Okay. So make sure that it's all wrapped up. It's not broken anywhere. And hold the head tight and roll it. All right, there we go. Perfect, so this is my first beans that is made already. So now I'm gonna dash to the, to the fireplace and I'm gonna set it up, all ready to go. So, so I have my pot here, okay? This is where we're gonna be cooking the beans. I have it ready. I have some foil paper at the bottom. So please put, this is just to have, not have all water, maybe get into the beans. So just put a little bit of water, just a tiny, tiny bit and get some foil paper at the base of the pot. Okay, have it on and put it up to like maybe seven or eight to start, you know, so this needs to heat up a little bit, just a little bit, okay? So this, the pot is ready. If it looks like this, if your pot looks like this, then it's ready to go. So that's what it's gonna look like. So now I'm going to be, sorry, I'm going to be um, wrapping up the bundles for my beans and they go into the pot. So for the first one that we just did, it goes straight into the pot guys. Okay, so just place it nicely. So if you look at my beans, it's all rolled at the edge. So there's no way water can penetrate the beans. So it goes that way. All right, so we're gonna go to bundle number two. All right, so we remember we're just rolling the beans right now. So, there we go. Perfect. so always please stir the beans before you you dish it out for a bundle. So just, we did three spoons, so we're still gonna go with three spoons. Uh, three full scoops, guys. All 
right, there we go. So again, same thing, just keep going. I go by the edges so I don't miss a spot. Okay. Okay, so my paper keeps tearing up. I'm gonna do another one. I guess the paper is pretty, not um, very strong. So we just have to be careful when, we, when we're rolling. We're sneaking it into the pan. So there we go. Again, the edge is very important. So water doesn't skip into it. And this goes straight into the pot again. So remember the pot is on the gas and it's on up to like seven. So it's already like ready to go. So there's a little bit of water in it already. So we just keep going on. We, we have to make sure we have all the beans like in the bundles that we want. And this, the size of the bundle depends on you guys. So whatever size you feel comfortable, you can make it four scoop, you can make it five scoop, but you wanna have a reasonable size. It shouldn't be too tiny, okay? So I believe for me, I, I think three scoops are gonna cook really, really quickly. So, that's why I went for three scoops. It's not gonna last too, too long. Okay, again, stir. Wanna have, we're doing three scoops. Okay. Perfect. All right, so then edges, guys, always. So this is like one person's edible portion for maybe lunch or dinner, one person's size. So, so you can have two, but like this is a good size for a person. Okay, so if you look at the pot, it's bubbling a little bit. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's, the water is bubbling a little bit there. So let's go ahead and keep um, getting those bundles going. So again, stir guys, please always. So one. So we almost at the end here. So we just fold it down to have a full scoop too. Great. Okay. So again, the edges. Perfectly. There we go. So see my edge. See, it's all tied up, guys. All right, goes again into the pot. So I have four bundles going right now, and I have one, one more to go. So this might not be a full spool for a three scoop, but that's okay. So this is not equivalent to three scoops. So we're just gonna put everything because it's just like two scoops. So we're just gonna pour the last of everything into the, the parchment paper here. Okay. All 
Alright, perfect. So that's the last. There you go, guys. So that's the last one. It is really, really small. So it's going to cook really fast. Okay, perfect. There we go. So this is what the, the beans, cocky beans, is going to look like. It comes in bundles. So this is, we have five bundles today. So the very important thing is putting water into the pot. So you have to go by measurement of a cup. So, because if you over put water, there's a probability it's going to go over the edge when it bubbles. Okay, so you want to have a bit of water. So, we're going to cook this for at least, it's lentils, if it's uh, black eye beans, takes at least 30 minutes minimum. But this is lentils, it's not going to take long, so it's going to last us less. Maximum should be 10 minutes, it should be ready. So, we're going to start by um, putting a little bit of water. Okay, so I have water here. So you want to go by a cup. So I'm just going to do measurements because if I just pour the water, we're going to be, we don't have an, a, a right measurement or estimation. Okay, so maybe I'll get a glass, right? So I have a glass here. Just pour some water. A glass of water is fine. But this is a really small quantity. We don't want to pour too much water. So when you pour your water, the foil should be on the corner. So pour beneath the foil. Okay, beneath the foil in the pot. And then just close it up. All right, so this is not going to be enough for 10 minutes. We, we might be coming back to put another glass of water. But first, we have to let this cook and keep watching the pot. So... Um, that's that's how it goes in the pot, and we're gonna wait for the amazing result. While we do that, I'm just gonna dash back to the table and do some cleanup. Okay. And any question, guys? Please send it to the chat box. Um, I'll be ready to answer you. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're enjoying the cooking time with us. So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit, guys. Okay, so we just toss everything away and clean up. Any question, please feel free to ask any questions whatsoever. Please send us your questions, comments. It's much appreciated as well. So for the balance of the spinach, whatever you want to do, I would like to put it in a Ziploc and put it in the fridge. Maybe I want to use it some other time. Uh, if you don't want to do that, it's okay to tox it away if you don't need it, but it's really, it's nice vegetable, you can do that. So I'm just cleaning up while we wait for the, the beans to cook.
Okay. Any questions? Well, do we have any questions? Any comments? So we're going to check the pot right now. So I have everything cleaned up. Okay, so back to our pot. Let's see how it's going. Let's see what's going on here. Be careful of the flavor. Wow. This is um, the steam better. This is good. This is really, really nice. Shows that it's cooking really well. So the water is almost done. So we have another uh, maybe two minutes more to go with this. So we're going to keep it going. So now we can increase the heat, guys, up to max, maybe nine. Okay, because it's cooking really nicely. So up to nine, just increase your heat and let it cook really, really nicely. All right, so let's keep going. Okay, so Cameroon is, uh, some people argue this, but Cameroon is um, actually the west part of Africa. It's divided into two, um, if my history is very correct. We have French and we have the English section, okay? And um, it's um, a very uh, peaceful, nice country. We have so many meals. We have um, intercontinental meals where we, we have related meals to other African countries. And what I'm showing you today, cocky beans, using lentils is one of our very, very go-getting meal where you have them in events, you have them in um, occasions. So if you have like a, um, a big event, you can have this, you can make this and uh, it goes with so many things, okay? So first thing you can eat cocky beans with it on its own. You can have it on its own. It's totally fine with you. And people just like to eat it all on its own. So, but what it goes with, first we have plantain. So plantain, some people call it banana, banana plantain. So you, we can boil it. It could be the, the, the ripe one or the unripe. So you can boil it and boil it to really um, soft and um, drain it and on the side. So that's a side meal, side meal that goes with cocky beans boiled plantains, ripe or unripe, whatever works for you. Another thing that can go with cocky beans from Cameroon, what we normally eat with is cassava. This is pretty interesting. So the cassava is not the white one. So we have a particular cassava that we boil and eat. It has to be red, red cassava it means when you try to skin the cassava, it's red skin. So there are two kinds of cassava. We have the white skin and the red skin. The red skin and Cameroon is eat edible just after boiling. But the white skin in Cameroon is made, is used to make something we call fufu. So you have to put that one, steam it, put it in water and leave it for maybe a day or two and then wash it. So the one we are talking about here is the red skin one. So you can really boil that nicely, peel it off and take out the root in the middle boil it and it goes alongside with cocky beans so that's another thing we can eat cocky beans with 
Another part of Cameroon, they eat cocky beans with um with uh cocoa yam. Wow, they have this um little uh they have this um 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 here they call it taro taro kokoyam t a r o so you can boil taro kokoyam on the side you can just you have to skin you have to skin it you have to peel it off nicely wash and boil and it goes along with with cocky beans so cocky beans can be eaten in so many ways and you can have it for for lunch it's a really heavy meal if you have it trust me in the evening you just want to have a salad you don't want to have another beans because it's really heavy so it's a very very nice and um nice meal and most occasions we use it we cook it and their bundles are really really if it's an occasion they have like all of this is one bundle so they make really nice and big bundles so those are some of the things that you can eat uh cocky beans with so back there in cameroon that's how we eat cocky beans so um any questions <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we're going to have it on our Facebook page on our African African design web page itself. It's going to be there on every of our platforms. Yes, great. So you guys are not giving comments. So any comments, guys, please send it to the chat box. Any comments on the, um, today's um, cooking? Um, very much appreciated. So uh, Nicola says, yes, I would like to try and it because it's going to be delicious. Yeah, that's interesting. That's amazing. So if you really, really love it, give us a thumbs up, please. <laughs> OK. So I'm going to go back to my pot quickly, guys. Um, it's really drying up here, so it's almost, almost empty, like almost no water in it. If you look at it, it's all dried up. So now I want to put another glass of water to make sure. So we want to make sure while we're doing that is making sure that it's ready. So we don't want to eat the beans that is half cooked. Okay, so that's why I said let's go from um, between 10 and 20 minutes. So if it's black beans, it goes 30 to 40 minutes. But this is lentil, so but I'm just gonna add another glass of water. So I'm gonna take a glass again. All right. Sorry. Okay. All right. So that's enough. Okay, so this is gonna be our last glass of water. So remember I said don't pour the water on top of the beans, just on the corner. So beside, like behind the foil paper, make sure it goes behind so the water doesn't get into the beans so that's the deal that's the idea the idea about uh, behind this so we're going to close it up again remember it's on it's on very high heat up to nine you can put it max if you want to so but i just comfortable with that um that um, level of cooking so we're going to have this when this water is dry then our beans is going to be ready and i'm so excited we're going to be testing it so i want us to see what it looks like you know, and um, taste like, so I'm going to have um, <laughs> somebody taste with me so that they're going to give their own, um, you know, <laughs> their own contribution and tell us what it tastes like. And there we go. All right. So just, just bear with me. We're going to be um, done soon, please. Okay, so right now, um, if you can just um, let us know where you're connecting from, please. Um, um, anywhere you're connecting from, just um, put in the chat box where you're connecting from. Just share with us, please. And if you have any question for the side dishes, the, the meal that goes with the cocky beans, or like the plantain, the cocoa yam, the, the cassava, if you have any questions, let us know and where you can find them just ask um, they are all um you can find them in the store superstore warm muscles plantain and uh, superstore says plantain cassava sometimes the taro cocoyam itself or 
best bet is uh, Chinese stores like TNT, Lucky Seven. They all have those um, um, those um, yam and plantain. Okay. So we're just gonna be waiting for this to get ready, guys. So in approximately 10 minutes, we should be tasting the meal. I'm really excited because we're trying something else. This is lentils. Um, um, I'm trying lentils myself, so I'm also trying this. So <laughs> you normally do with the black beans. So this is really interesting. So I really want to try it. Yeah, I really, really want to try it. I don't know, Mama, can we share the screen? So if somebody cooks, maybe we can see what their, their meal is going to look like. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So please share with us where you're connecting from. Um, just share with us where you're connecting from, please. Okay, that's good. So we almost, yeah, we almost ready here. So, just, so I'm gonna get my tray ready because we need something to spread it. It looks really nice and, you know. Yes, no, I mean like to open it up. I mean because we need a knife as well. Chop it and then put it on a plate. So guys, I'm just getting ready for the meal to come out. Eat a little fork. Okay. Oh. Wow. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much. So it's almost almost ready. Five more minutes, guys. Five more minutes. So I need a ziplock. I'm gonna toss this away. Okay. Yeah, perfect. So just get a little tray and knife a little plate to taste uh cutleries maybe a knife or a fork or a boat so yes please there we go so ooh. <laughs> no no that's good okay all right so there we go guys see it's almost empty so the water just needs to dry up but you don't want to let it burn so, um, okay, perfect. So you don't want to let it burn, okay? You don't want to let it burn. So please make sure the water is all uh, dried up, but don't let it burn, please. Because if it burn, it gives you another taste. So first, we're going to get one, and we have to try it. So if we're going to grab one out of the pot. I'm going to get a paper towel here. So I don't burn my hands. All right. Take one and into the tray. Okay. So just leave this going. Okay, guys. So I don't know if we are ready to see the results because <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am very, very, very ready. Okay. All right. There we go. Guys, do you see that? 
Oh, this is really nice. Oh my God. This is so nice. So good. So good, guys. So, so good. So, this is what it looks like. So, if you chop in the middle, it's going to look like that. Okay, so you can actually just dish this out into your into your plate. Okay. This looks so so good. So good. So you see the redness, the reddishness of the the beans. So most times it sticks on the thing there. That's okay. So the reddishness of the beans, see? There we go. I'll put it on the table. So that's what the cocky beans look like. So this is with lentils. This is exactly what it looks like, guys. Um, the camera is way up from it. Okay, perfect. There. So this is what it looks like, guys. So we're going to go ahead and try it. So I don't want to try it alone. So, <laughs> so I'm going to get maybe one or two persons to try with me. So just going to try it. Mm. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. Oh my goodness. This is so, so nice. So it is so good, guys. It's so tasty. It's so nice. It's so rich. It's very, very healthy. Lentils is really good beans. And um, I hope you really, really enjoy it. So hopefully um, in the future where we can come together and do it like no, in person, and then we all try together, and this is gonna be amazing. But I hope you really enjoy my video, and, and please connect to um, try it out, and give us your feedback with uh, on the African and African descent. So we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, so this is the, uh, it for today, and. Um, on behalf of the African and African descendants, thank you so much. And Albert, we want to say thank you to everyone that connected today to be a part of our Alberta Culture Days event, making cocky beans mm -hmm. from Cameroon. Yes. <laughs> and I hope you learned something about different cultures. You know, when we learn about other people, it's easier for you to understand them. It's easier for you to relate with them. That's so right. that's the thing about culture. So learn about other people's cultures. Be intentional in connecting and knowing what other people, what they eat, how they dance, how they do certain things. You know, the more you learn, the better we are at relating with one another. So I want to say thank you. Thank and you. On behalf of the Senado Cultivate the Art Society, we say thank you to everyone that has connected to our Alberta Culture Day event during this month of September. And we hope you get to participate in our other events in future. So we want to say bye for now. And thank, thank you, you Rose, for thank taking you. us to Cameroon. Thank we you. Just went to <laughs> now we're going to be flying back. Now. <laughs> Thank you, so Thank you guys so much. Have a good, have a good evening. evening. Thank you so much. <laughs>